Mariners mania back today as the team gets ready to rally and take on the Houston Astros in game two of the ALDS this afternoon. Yeah, and team and fans alike ready to bounce back from Tuesday's loss, of course. We are continuing our team coverage this morning. We've got Brian Flores in West Seattle, or one of our state's most iconic symbols, is taking team pride out onto the sound. We begin with Fox 13's Alyssa Charleston. She is live in Houston. So, Alyssa, it is game day. What's the atmosphere like? Well, you heard everything you want to hear from players yesterday. I think Mariners fans and Mariners players would have not loved to marinate in that loss yesterday. The off day was tough because that's all you had time to do. The team, though, they were already on to the next. A lot of them, when I talked to them in the locker room after that loss, were already on to the next as well. Mitch Hanniger, Ty France. But yesterday, Jared Kelnick said a lot of stuff you want to hear if you're a Mariners fan, saying, we're not tripping. His words, not mine, but important words, and saying we played an incredible game for most of the game. Obviously, the late game decisions are still being talked about. They're moving on to the next because they have to. Short memory, and uh, we can still talk about those Scott Service late game decisions. Yesterday, because he decided to pitch Robbie Ray as a reliever late in that game, and he ended up giving away the home game winning home run. Scott Service still backed up his decision. He said he believes in their process. He believes in their numbers. And Seattle has wanted playoff baseball for a long time. Well, all these highs and lows are part of it. And I know our, our fan base and everybody around the mayor is starving. This is what you're starving for. It's the highs and the lows and the, everything along the way. And as great as it was Saturday night in Toronto, you know, we felt the low yesterday. That's OK. That's the beauty of playoff baseball. That's why we watch it. With such intensity and there's so much impact and, and value in every out and there's so much tied to every pitch it's awesome we need to <laughs> we need to enjoy it we really do i am yesterday was rough no question about it but i know how hard it is to get here how hard it is to win here that's uh, that's the beauty of the whole thing and mariners fans at the end, probably weren't enjoying that as much as they were early on, but you have to give credit to that offense. You love the fact that they had eight out of nine batters get after Justin Verlander. You have to get off to that same kind of start. That's what they did against Alec Manoa in game one against Toronto. That's what they did against Justin Verlander. That offense looked for the bats flying early. The best piece that I can give you as Mariners fans to be confident is Luis Castillo. La Piedra is on the mound today. The Rock is what they call him. Uh, he has only faced the Astros once and it was in 2019. We're going to talk more about that pitching matchup coming up. Uh, but first, let's go out to Brian Flores because I know Luis Castillo is a machine and apparently Seattle is oh, kind of yeah. making machines named after a little bit of Mariners. Mariners <laughs> fans out there will be excited about what's going on out there. Yeah, perfect, perfect tease, Alyssa. I, I appreciate that. Before we let you go, though, say, for example, you bought a boat, right? You're a big Mariners fan. Is there a player, perhaps, that you would name your boat after? Oh, that's a fantastic question. Current player or former? Yeah, either one, either one. Doesn't matter. What would you name it? I'm an Alex Cora, Alex Cora kind of person back in the 90s. Oh, okay. Wow. Alex Cora. I like Joey, that. Joey, okay, Cora. There you go. There Joey you go. Cora. Uh, wow. so, Joey Cora. Wow. Joey Cora. Oh, jo Joey Cora. Okay. 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 <laughs> I got, got to get those right. The brothers are out there, right? Uh, Alyssa, thank you yeah. so much. And she segue into how, like, Seattle is getting ready for, you know, getting ready for this huge game that's going to be happening today. Uh, they're even naming machines as well after some of the some of the players as well. We're live here at the Fauntleroy uh, Ferry Terminal this morning. And the reason why we're here, we're talking Mariners, but if you ride one of the ferries, Washington State Ferries actually changed the names of their ferries to some of these players just to get into the spirit of the whole playoff atmosphere. Let's go ahead and go down the list here uh, if we have it. Uh, feature some of the more popular player nicknames. The ferry named Pew Wallops could be now known as Ty, Viva la France. Uh, the Wenatchee is going to be called Cal, Big Dumper Raleigh. That's the one I'm going to go on. Uh, the Tacoma is going to be now known as the Mariners Good Vibes Only Ferry. Uh, the Walla Walla is going to be now known as Julio. Loving that. And as you can imagine, Mariners fans getting ready for the big game as well. Several watch parties happening across their area. 
Hems hosting uh, one at Hatback Bar and Grill. That's the place to be. Steelhead Alley right across from T-Mobile Park as well. They both open at 1030 this morning. Uh, then Simply Seattle, Dick's Drive-In. They're teaming up for their own watch party at Queen Anne Beer Hall. Doors open there at 11. And we've been also covering just how much high or how high playoff tickets are for this weekend's playoff games. The Mariners, uh, uh, we know, hosting at least one playoff game on Saturday, hopefully one on Sunday as well. Uh, but the Mariners just released a special ticket offer for college students. So if you go to the Mariners website, give them some info about your college, current college, everybody, not college from 20 years ago, <laughs> then you'll get access to standing room only tickets that will only cost you about $30. So there you go. It's a great deal for the college kids out there uh, to perhaps uh, see the Mariners uh, you know, in the playoffs in their lifetime. I mean, at least for them right now. So that's that's great news. Uh, so again, we're live here at the Fauntleroy Turtle. If you're riding one of the ferries today, they're named after some of the Mariners players out there this morning. We're going to head over to T-Mobile Park, get a feel for the preparations going into this weekend's game. We know the championship bunting, if you've gone, if you've gone by T-Mobile Park, that's all around the stadium. It looks fantastic. Definitely playoff atmosphere. Uh, but the Mariners getting ready for a big, big playoff game today. Hopefully they'll pull one out uh, later this afternoon. Guys, back over to you.